sports. That's a thing we all kind of love. I mean, who doesn't like the sports ball, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk like that, the sports ball. But no, truthfully, guys, I actually do like American football. I'll watch it. I watch the Super Bowl. I have my own team. I get wild up when they don't win. You know, I'll get angry at the game. I'll turn it off. I'll put the remote down. I'll curse and scream at the TV like I'm actually a coach on the team or some stupid crap. You know, I've been to Japanese baseball games in Japan, and I get with the crowds. We're jumping. We're pumping. We're screaming. We're getting into the action, and we're singing songs. And the best part about Japanese baseball is uh, keg girls and food but that's another video but what i want to talk about today is a crazy uh thing that j literally just happened over the weekend here uh, i'm recording this the week of july 12th so this past weekend i don't think called the euro cup happened it's a big huge uh football soccer game for us americans and uh italy won and the fans literally lost their minds now i get it i've seen celebrations where you know people start trashing and celebration and set fire and dumb stuff like that but to see how italy italy took it to another level the, the things that they did in this the, 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 these video clips i'm seeing online are just it's making me stutter i'm totally in awe of the thought process of these people. Now, I can't articulate enough how utterly bonkers the videos I'm seeing that came out from the celebration in Italy. Ah, but I know a person who can help me with this. It's my friend John Faust. A dramatic retelling of the chaos of the Euro Cup. On the 12th of July, in the year of our Lord 2021, celebrations erupted in downtown Rome as thousands of people took to the streets after Italy beat England. Clothing became an optional choice as the celebration intensified. Excited women, who seemed to be possessed by the spirit of the Euro Cup, had no other options but to bear their blossoming bosoms to the world in a joyous fashion, as large groups of males all attempted to cover these women and protect their modesty by groping their exposed chests with their hands. It, it, it's called assault. It's freaking called assault! Come on! I mean, excuse me. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> it wasn't only the women who in moments of pure jubilation shed their wardrobe in a celebratory ruckus. But hundreds of men, fueled by liquid courage, danced in the streets in only what Mother Nature provided for them. Dancing like wild animals in the streets wasn't a true enough show of admiration for the victory of the Euro Cup. Fireworks lit the sky as cars honked non-stop and ecstatic fans waving Italian flags spilled out onto the Piazza del Popolo. These true fans of soccer needed to show how much of a fan they are by doing handstands while their friends placed large fireworks into their nether regions, lighting a magnificent show of display from their posterior. Seriously. No, seriously, are you fucking kidding me? Who in their right mind would think that this is the right way to celebrate a victory? Oh, for come on! All right, all right, all right, I'm out. I'm done, I'm out. Here we go, I'm gone. Bye-bye. That's the thing about this whole incident. They done lost their mind. I get celebrating. I get running through the streets, wooing like your Ric Flair. Woo, our team won. Woo, we are so happy our team won. But then, and I got to talk a little lower because, yeah, seriously, what did you all drink? What was in the water the night of the celebration? I need to know. I don't want it because I like the, I, 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 the, the idea of people deciding this is how we celebrate. This is 
anarchy. I ain't gonna tell you how to celebrate, guys. You do what you you do you make yourself happy. I, I can't I can't even get into it anymore. But my brain is so confused by this. I want to ask you guys, have you seen something worse than this? Have you been a part of something worse first? Don't give specifics. I don't want you guys getting in trouble and getting arrested. But let me know, how far would you go to celebrate a victory for a game? I know that I would cheer. And that's about it. And taking clothes off and running through the streets, I hate the fact that I got to take off my clothes to take a shower. But that's just me. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk later. Be safe.